my story. One person's story is always different than the next. This is what makes us all unique. In Internet Invention, From Literacy to Electricity, Gregory Ulmer states that memory is crucial since we are testing the power of the punctum, or memory sting as the connection between personal organic memory and the artificial memory of computing and the web. Ulmer also states that every person possesses a wide or guiding image, a wide sight. My wide sight is tribe. I arrived in my human condition by way of the University of Arkansas at Little Rock, specifically via the Department of Rhetoric and Writing. It was there that I learned to beautify my gift, this thing called writing. My gift led me to interact with many, and to my surprise, I was asked to transform a researcher's dissertation into book format. And that was the beginning of many professional milestones, yet none adequately define who I am. Family, that means everything to me but I realize this concept does not always have the same meaning for everyone. When you are blessed to have a familial connection, you will never forget. I look back and realize how exuberant my parents were, always having people for extended visits, always molding younger family members. In the top left photo, my father is dressed for church, but the punctum in this picture is the long frame house sitting in the rear, as this belonged to the landowner who sold the first hectare to my father. The photo on the bottom right is taken of my father in his favorite position and his favorite room. He was leaning on the counter in the kitchen. The punctum is the container collection of flour, coffee, and sugar that rests in the background. No little did I know this would become part of my future. These containers held key ingredients that I needed for everything from Thanksgiving desserts to delicacies such as fresh baked rolls and canned pickles, jellies, and soup. I was establishing all that I needed to guide my story with my own children, to teach them lessons they would always remember. Then the inevitable happened, and my story took a turn in 2007. My firstborn, who was so full of life and love, was plucked up into the heavens at the age of 17. Though it should have, it did not break me. I found peace knowing that she had lived a life much richer than most. In 2010, my family and I had a second chance at Love and Life, and two years later, we welcomed a new addition, which reassured that my story would continue. During this happiness, my oldest son was severely injured and was clinging to life, and he was spared. In 2013, the unthinkable happened, and my second to youngest became gravely ill and was placed in the PICU. For several weeks, she was clinging to life due to a rare diagnosis with a tumor. She survived the fight, and my journey with her has been one of highs and lows. From cognitive relearning, to walking again with support, to walking alone. She has received a new life. Her story is my story. The love and support that was extended was amazing, but the turning point in her life was receiving her big wish. And while en route, she touched the heart of a pilot, an attendant who gave up her gold wings, and a Disney celebrity. And then the big event, meaning Justin. That one moment in time has defined her life, giving her hope and a renewed outlook. Meanwhile, she has managed to share her heart with everyone. The FedEx workers who volunteer at the house built for children like her. The artist who designs work for the Make-A-Wish Evening of Wishes. Her doctors. And her little sister are all still by her side. Her story was featured in a documentary that won a Student Pillar Award, the second highest distinction in film. As for me, I am a mother, guardian of my mother and my oldest sister. As I look into my rear view mirror and look to the future, I realize that my story will continue when I am long gone because my story is their story.